heading down the road from my house today. It's about two miles really from where I live and uh, I'm gonna look into some public hunting areas, walk-in hunting. Uh, I've actually drove by this place a lot, but I haven't I haven't ever actually considered going in and looking because usually you have to fight with a ton of people. But this year, I'm like, why not? Why not give it a try? So uh, I'm gonna head up here and see what we see back in there. Okay, so parked a little further away than I thought I did, so it was a, a bit of a walk over here. But uh, time check, it's 5.20, probably a little later than what it should be for me out here, scouting around. But hey, it rained all day here, so you work with what you got. All right, so right here. Foot traffic only opens on the first wee haul, walk-in hunting areas. So we're gonna go back in here and see what we see. Let's see. Here. Definitely appears like things are moving around in here. That's for sure. We got some nice little pine trees back here. Oh yeah, oh yeah, bedding. That's what we like to see, this kind of stuff. Made it back in this heavy wooded area here. This might actually be a good spot. Find us a trail, something to set up on. This little creek here. Follow it for a while. See where it takes us. Take your S's back around. That's this nice little little trail. It's kind of following that creek. A nice little spot to sit on that. I, I might try to ground hunt this actually. We'll see. Got some. Some tracks moving up through this and this little, little pine thicket we got here. Right over there, right over there's that bedding area. Looks like they're moving along this creek. They're coming through. It's, it's really this whole spot here is all a, a transition area. You know, they're, they're going out and they eat and they come back. They're going to move right through this. We're going to feel comfortable here to get to the bedding. And I'll come out here and try. It's really it's so thick in this that. Like I might be able to get a good ground blind put in. There's there's a lot of a lot of opportunity for that kind of stuff. So I think I'm gonna try try a pop up in here when season hits and see see what I can catch cruising through. All right, guys. Well, I am back and here I'm over here. I'm this way. I uh I got ate up by mosquitoes and it's hot. All that grass is wet, my pants are soaked, but uh, it's it's not bad. It's not looking bad, like I feel pretty good about it. Um, I think if I get, get a ground line set up in there, you know, maybe, maybe I'll get lucky, I'm kind of late on the jump. I'm not, I haven't been watching this spot. I don't know what's in here, What I just know there's a lot of trails and some bedding areas and we'll see. But for now, I'm right here by that creek. I think I'll throw a line in it. You know what? Well, the thing about these creeks is sometimes you uh, you just you find you a log in there, and it's gone. Well, I guess I you know I was incorrect. It pulled right out there. It's only six pound test line, so I really thought for sure that that was breaking. But nope, we're good to fish. <laughs> 